What's going on guys? My name is Zach. I own a company called Back in Time Pressure Washing out of Baltimore, Maryland. I'm starting this program because I want to teach a lot of people what it took me a long time to learn. I asked a whole lot of questions. I spent a whole lot of time out by the truck figuring things out. Not that I think there's anything wrong with that, but I would like to be able to teach others what I learned uh, within years. So basically I'm putting together this program just to save you guys a whole lot of time, save you guys a whole bunch of headaches. Um, and uh, basically just go over the basics of everything from regular house washing to roof washing, to, you know, plumbing your machines, to winterizing your stuff, to doing, you know, commercial bids, stuff like that. Nothing crazy, nothing super deep. Don't get overwhelmed, but I do want to make this the best program I possibly can. Bear with me. I'm just beginning this whole YouTube thing, so my videos probably aren't that beautiful yet. But I will say that the product and uh, um, basically the quality that I'm going to put in to teaching you guys this stuff is going to be uh, one of my main priorities next to feeding my family and um, you know running my business. So I hope everybody enjoys their day. Hope everybody enjoys the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What's going on guys, Zach with Back in Time Pressure Washing. Just wanted to make a quick video, show you guys how I winterize my machines. Uh, I don't use any antifreeze during the winter. Works for me, I've never had a problem with it. Um, antifreeze would probably be better to keep everything from kind of drying out, but this is the way I do it. It's super simple, it doesn't require any, any, any antifreeze at all. And uh, like I said, it's super simple. So basically, I have an air compressor here, right? So I have my air line running directly to my banjo wire strainer that comes out of my buffer tank that goes into the machine so what i do is i take this this is a i believe it's a half inch reducer down to a quarter inch and then what i and then what i do is i put on a air compressor um mail piece here uh plug or i'm sorry yeah plug and then i connect that to my air compressor boom of course I make sure my valves are shut here. That way there's no back pressure going back into the tank or out my uh, dump tube there. So what I do after that, <clears throat> I go ahead and turn this on. What begins to happen is all that water that is either in my pressure washer or going through the reel actually starts to start coming through the reel here. So if you wait a second, you'll start to see water actually coming out of this. Now I already did most of it. But basically what I do is, um, you know, just pretty much get all the water out of here, get it all out of the high pressure lines, get it completely out of the machine, out of the burner. That way none of that stuff freezes up and messes up any of your plumbing. So that's what I do. Not saying it's the absolute best way to do it. That's the way I was taught. I've never had a problem with it in my life. So I recommend it. Super simple. Doesn't require any freeze. And all it requires is the air compressor and, you know, two pieces. So, uh, yeah. I'll go over it with you really quick one more time. Air compressor. Half inch reducer to quarter inch. Quarter inch um, male socket, or I'm sorry, male air compressor fitting. Then you have a female air compressor fitting that goes, you know, back to your uh, air compressor. And this goes into my banjo Y strainer. Now basically what this is, is this filters out all the debris that could be coming from the buffer tank because I don't have to filter on the inlet coming from the house or from the hydrant wherever we're filling up at so it goes right on in this is closed this is closed so the air has no place to go but through the machine so it pushes out all that water and gets it all cleaned out that's the way i do it hope this helps somebody out there super simple as you can see it's just about finished up there's not too much water left in there anyway zach back in time pressure washing baltimore maryland thanks for watching